Hey everyone, I'm doing a follow-up of that last reading that I did. So I got that someone's soul really, they love you on a soul level. Their soul loves you. Their soul wants commitment with you. Their soul wants to be with you. Their inner child is calling out for you, but their inner child is at war with this like queen or king of swords side of themselves. You know, it, it's like, even though deep down they do love you, I feel like it's like they're, they're still choosing their pride over you. They're still choosing fear over you. They're still, just to recap that reading really quick, it's like they're still just choosing their ego over you. And I, I feel like it's just manipulative though. I, I just feel this manipulative energy where even if their soul loves you, their conscious mind, their ego is not on the same page. They want to put you back on the shelf. They want to treat you like chopped liver. They want control. They they want they want you to to be on hold for them. And in that reading, we were getting that there might be someone else that's coming into your life, and they're picking up on that, and they're wanting to block that, and they're wanting to. Um, it, it's such bullshit energy because it's it's like they they want to pull you back in, but they don't want to give you a commitment. They're trying to find a loophole. They're, they're trying to find a loophole here to not have to offer you commitment, to have you back without having to commit. They want to put you back on the shelf. They want to go back to taking you for granted, having you be on the side while they cheat with other girls or other men, um, go back to treating you like old reliable. It, it's just such bullshit because it, it's like they want to block you from this new love, but they're not willing to give you everything that the new love would be willing to give you. They're not willing to be vulnerable. They're not willing to commit. They just they just want to block this person and then do absolutely nothing with you. You know, they just want to block this from coming into your life and keep you stagnant and then go back to putting you on hold and, and just having you there for an ego boost or just having you there for, you know, in the future if they're ready to settle down or commit that, you know, you'll just be on that shelf waiting for them is what they're expecting. It's 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 ridiculous. Um so I got a manipulative energy in that reading. I'm just going to recap real quick and then we're going to get back in, into the, the other message I had. But yeah, I got a very manipulative energy in that reading. Because it's it's like some part of them does feel like they, they know they need to come forward in a vulnerable, authentic, honest way. But they're afraid that it wouldn't be enough. They're afraid of rejection. So they're choosing to reject you instead. And they're, they're not, it's very selfish. They'd rather reject you than be risk being rejected themselves. They'd rather make you feel hurt than, than risk them feeling hurt. Um, so some of them are going to try to come forward in a, in a manipulative way, like passionately or sexually. And they're going to try to loop you, like pull you back into that cycle. And then once they have you again, once you're, once you're invested again, they're going to go back to treating you like shit. And it's not going to work, though, because you're intuitive. You're going to see through it. If they send you a message, you're going to be able to feel the energy of the words and know if they're being genuine or if they're really coming forward in an authentic, vulnerable way or they're, they're finally willing to be honest and vulnerable and, and make the effort for you. You're going to know the energy difference. So they're not going to be able to manipulate you like they think they are. For someone out there, I also got in that video, I was also getting that that they might pretend like they want to have a kid with you and they don't. So take that as it resonates with you. Um, but there is another message and they're trying to I there this this motherfucker is trying to block me from getting the message and it's not going to happen. I can feel them trying to block me because in that video I was saying I feel like I felt angry like Thursday night. I was feeling the, the the vibe, the energy, and the atmosphere, and I was just channeling. It was like I was feeling angry. I was like, someone's being sneaky, and I can feel it. There's some kind of plotting, some kind of it, – it's like they're trying to find a loophole to get you back without committing, without giving you what you deserve, and it's not going to happen like that. If they come back, they're going to have to come back honestly, vulnerably. They're going to have to really offer commitment. They're going to have to actually really put themselves out there for you. Otherwise, you're not going to open up again to them. But the other message that I was channeling that they don't want me, they, they, they're they trying to block me from picking up on it and it's not going to happen. Because the other energy I was picking up that didn't really come through a whole lot in that last video is that they're going to, some, some of them are going to try to make you jealous. 
they're trying so hard to hide this. They're not even, I don't think they're telling anybody about this plan. They're, they're super sneaky right now. They're, they're plotting right now. Because for others, for in that, in that energy group, this is the same energy group as that other reading I was talking about. But like I said, they're going to come forward in like a passionate way or a sexual way to try to get you back. But for some, I feel like they're also going to try to trigger your insecurities. Um, yeah, they're trying so hard to keep this hidden, to, to be sneaky. No, you, you can't, you're not, you can't hide shit from a psychic. It's not going to happen. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. Knight of Pentacles, Temperance. This person is so freaking negative and they sabotage themselves because it's like, it's really sad because I feel like this person has actually been kind of working on themselves. Like, it's like this person is almost delusional. Like they don't understand. They're so insecure and they sabotage and they, they overthink and they get so deep in their head that they can't even tell reality from, from what's going on in their mind. It's very sad because I feel like they actually were working on being loyal and being stable for you and being good for you. Like temperance, they actually were working on, you know, their inner demons. They were working on these energies, on balancing things out. And at some point, it's like they got lost in their head and they thought, you know what, I'm just going to get hurt again. Any, It's like they're so negative. Like they got in their head and they thought, I'm probably going to get rejected anyway. She, He or she is probably just going to leave me anyway very pessimistic like they're gonna just abandon me like everyone else did anyway no matter what so why bother working on myself I'm tired of working on myself and it getting me nowhere you know I'm tired of being loyal I don't want to I don't want to do it I don't want to work on myself anymore I'm probably just gonna get hurt in the end anyway let me just drop this burden let me just stop working on myself because you know but it's really weird, though, because they were working on themselves behind the scenes. I don't think they showed you any of this. So why would they expect a change with you when they're not willing to step up and communicate and be honest and vulnerable and really show you that they're making these changes, tell you that they're making these changes directly, you know, make an effort for you um, in the physical like they can't just do all this behind the scenes and then not show you any of it and be like, oh, why are things still the same? Well, it's like, duh, you you didn't you didn't say anything about this, you know, like you didn't you didn't tell they didn't tell you that they were doing this. They didn't tell you they were working on themselves. They didn't tell you that they want to fix themselves and 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 be loyal to you and and change these patterns. They didn't show you any of this effort, so you just kind of assumed that they were doing the same shit and that they weren't making any effort. So it's like they had this whole process and it was just them. It was just them in their head doing it with them, like just with themselves. It's like you weren't even involved in this process. You didn't even know this was going on. You probably just thought that they got over you or you just thought that they were just doing the same shit, that they were just out there messing around with other girls or other men. You didn't even know what was going on. And they had this whole internal process with themselves where they worked on themselves and then they they gave up kind of or they're giving up. They're They're getting frustrated. Yeah, because you're the queen of swords, but why the fuck wouldn't you be the queen of swords? You, they, they left you out in the cold. They abandoned you. They rejected you. They treated you like crap. Of course you're the queen of swords. They haven't shown you anything different. They haven't given you any reason not to be the queen of swords. This is all they've shown you is rejection, heartbreak, pain. What, they expect you to just, just go back to being a queen of cups when, when they haven't said anything or, or made an effort or given you any reason to be a queen of cups? I don't think so. But no, I want to look into, they're not going to hide this from me. I want to look into, they're, they're planning on, some of them are planning, not all of them, not all of them, but some of them are planning on making you jealous. Tell me about that. We're going to look into this. They're not going to block me from it. What are they trying to, what are they going to try to do to get your attention? They want control. They don't want to do the healing work. They want to be childish. They don't they're tired of they're tired of working on themselves. Mm. 
They are their own worst enemy. They're sabotaging themselves. Some of them want to do magic or they want to, they want like a shortcut to get you back. They got in their head or someone got in their head while they were healing and they just decided, oh, this isn't going to work. I don't think I can heal myself. I don't think I can change. And that's bullshit. They can change. If they want it bad enough, they can change. If they want, don't, don't believe someone that says like, oh, I'm, I'm just used to cheating or I'm just, that's just how I am. No. If you want it bad enough, you will be loyal. <laughs> if you want it bad enough, you will not entertain third parties. If you want it bad enough, no matter how afraid you are, if you want someone bad enough, you're going to push past that fear. So don't make excuses for this person. They're just, you know, their childhood made them this way or this trauma made them this way or yada, yada. Yeah, everyone goes through that. But they still have a choice. They still have a choice to do the same shit over and over again. And it's harder for some than others. Don't get me wrong. Like for some, it really is difficult to break those patterns. But if they love you that much, if you're really worth it to them, they're, they're not going to let someone that loves you is not going to put themselves in a position to lose you. They're not going to say, oh, I don't I, I'm used to cheating. So I'm just going to keep doing it. I can't be loyal. You know what I mean? They're going to do the work. Even if they have to get a counselor, they're going to do the work to be loyal. They're not going to say, oh, I'm afraid. I've been hurt a lot. I'm, I'm just going to choose my fear. They're going to be like, I'm terrified, but this person's worth it. I'm going to push through it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to show up. I might show up afraid. I might show up a complete mess, but I'm going to show up because I love this person. I cannot see a life without them. So don't make excuses for them. It doesn't matter how afraid they are. Everybody is afraid. Everybody is afraid of getting hurt. Everybody has had their heart broken. It, it's a bullshit excuse, honestly. Let's look into this, though. Hmm. What are they going to do? Because I keep getting that energy. It's like they're going to try to do something to make you jealous. What are they going to try to do? Are they going to try to make you jealous? Show me, show me that. What's going on with that? Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups. Five of Wands. It's like they want this Ten of Cups with you, but they don't know how to get it. They feel like it's a battle. They're in their head. They're having insomnia, and, and insomnia for some. Four of Swords, the Hermit. It's like they had a they had an idea they were having anxiety sleepless nights conflict unsure just going in circles not sure how to get this with you when they wanted this with you and then they, it's like an epiphany like they had an idea when they were in hermit mode what was this idea let's see it seven of cups king of pentacles three of swords knight of wands illusion making you feel like they're they want to present themselves as more stable than they are for one thing they want to present themselves as a king of pentacles they want you to feel rejected i think Tell me more about this. It's like they want you to feel like they're messing around with someone else. Because I keep feeling it. It's hard for me to like the cards aren't saying it as much, but I'm like, I feel it. I can channel it. This is what I'm channeling. And they don't they don't want me to. It's more of a battle because I'm like, no, I'm going to I'm going to see this. And like, you know, they don't want me. They, they're, they're putting that energy out there of, of us not knowing about this. But we're going to find out. It's not going to they're not going to block it. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Hmm. 
chariot. Cups. Mm. I feel like they're almost getting bitter because they feel like you're they know that you're not going to deal with their bullshit anymore you're not waiting and they feel it's such a weird sense of entitlement where it's almost like they feel like they owned you like they had you they like they had you eating out of the palm of their hand almost you know they they feel like like they feel like how dare you get off that shelf? How dare you not prioritize me all the time? How dare you um not allow me to treat you like shit all the time? Um It's almost like they're gonna try something to get your attention and it's gonna backfire because it's just gonna be further confirmation that this person is not doing anything to genuinely change and be loyal and treat you right. I feel like either they're going to try to present themselves as very independent and focused on themselves, um, very glamorous possibly, and maybe like taking pictures of themselves on social media, or they're going to, um, uh, like, I think that this person wants what they can't have, and they have such a limited perspective that they just assume everyone else is the same way. Because this, this person is, a, is the type where they like the chase. They like, they want what they can't have. And so they're assuming that other people, because maybe maybe they're, they're used to dealing with insecure exes that are like that. So they assume that when they play hard to get, that it's going to make people want them more. And it might make some people want them more, but it's not going to make you want them more. It's going to make you want them less because you're going to be like, no, I don't resonate with that. I resonate with someone who spoils me. I resonate with someone who messages me every day I message I resonate with someone who's clingy almost I resonate with someone who constantly like wants to like love me and see me and like be part of my life I don't resonate with someone you know trying to be glamorous or seductive or independent or overly independent and closed off and just kind of you know doing their own thing like it's not a turn on and some of them are going to do that and it's going to backfire on them where you're just going to be like oh like okay, wow, so this person's really not thinking about me. They're not doing anything differently. Um, and not independent in a bad way, but I just mean independent and like, like overly independent. You know what I mean? Like where they're like not open to love. You know, a little independence isn't bad, but this is like, it's like they're going to play the same games they've played with others and it's it's going to backfire. It's not going to work on you. Yeah, for some, because I, I see them, like, taking pictures on social media where they're, like, they're trying to get, they're trying to get you jealous. They're trying to have these people comment on their pictures. They might even ask their, their friends to comment on their pictures or to, like, like, illusion almost kind of energy. Like, to make it look like they're just focused on themselves, like, they're just, you know, living their best life, like, they're just kind of doing whatever, um... Like, like trying to get attention. Their ego is bruised and they want to get attention. But again, you're going to see it and you're going to be like, wow, so they're really still just all about themselves. They're really, they're not thinking about how they made me feel. They're, they're thinking about their ego. They're thinking about getting an ego boost. That shows me they're still the same person they were there before. They're still repeating the same patterns. So it's like they're going to try to make you jealous somehow. For some, it's just, again, posting pictures and trying to, like, get attention and trying to... They might even put it out there, like, on social media, like, oh, I'm single, I'm open to dating. Like, they want to... You know what I mean? Like, like kind of... Like, I'll show her, I'll show him, you know? Like, oh, two can play that game. But it's not, it's not a game. It's not... Your life isn't a game, you know? You stopped waiting for this person because they, they weren't doing anything to... to they weren't trying to be with you. They weren't trying to love you. They weren't trying to treat you well. You know what I mean? So wh what is there to wait for? They, they told you, they probably told you not to wait or they told you they didn't want you or they told you, they showed you they didn't want to be with you. And so you said, you finally said, okay, fine. I'll, I'll go try to find people who do want to be with me, you know? And, and now it's like what they think that you, you did something wrong for, for listening to them, for believing them when they pushed you away. I don't think so. 
yeah, it's like they're going to they're gonna present themselves a certain way to get your attention. And it's just, you're going to see through it. And they're going to look even worse in your eyes. For some, for some, yeah, I keep getting that they're going to try to um, make you jealous. Like they're going to almost like have like a fake relationship or they're going to try to. They might like hang out with a friend and they might take a picture and post it on social media and try to like imply that there's more going on there but it's just a friend you know what I mean like they'll go hang out with someone and they'll be like oh this was like a super fun day like 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 maybe they have like a female friend like male or female maybe they have like a friend they're gonna like put their arm around their shoulder and like post a picture of them and you're not gonna know who that friend is but it's just it's really just a friend like it's someone who's like platonic like there is like a platonic connection but they know that you don't know who that friend is so they know it's going to worry you they know it's going to make you a little bit uncomfortable because you're going to be like well well who is that like is there is there something like they're trying to get in your head they're trying to get you to think like who is that is there something romantic going on like what's like what's going on with that like who is like you know who is that what who, what's going on and they they know it's platonic they know it's platonic but they want to play this game Yeah, at some point they're going to realize that the only way for them to be successful with you, because you're going to stand your ground, you're going to stand your ground and make a judgment call and you're going to see through it. At some point, they're going to realize the only way to be successful with you is to be a king of cups, to be emotional, vulnerable, empathetic, caring, to show them this side of themselves that they desperately do not want to show you or anyone else. That is the only way they can wait and wait and wait and they can play these games over and over again and they're just going to stay trapped. They're going to stay in this victim mentality. They're going to go in circles. The only way they're going to have success with you is if they're a king of cups. They're gonna, even if it takes work, that's the only way they're going to have success is if they're a king of cups. Let's get some final messages about them trying to make you jealous here before we wrap this up. This is the last spread. Lovers, the world... Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Yeah, they want to have you like, let's see. Again, they again they have this toxic mentality of like wanting what they can't have. So they think that it's going to work on you. They think that if they if they post a picture with somebody else or if they make it seem like they're single and out there dating or if they, they, they make it seem like they're open to dating, they, they have this mentality where they think that um, they think that you're gonna that, that you're gonna like want to build with them more. That they're gonna be able to keep you blocked and tied up. And they're gonna be like, oh, I want them suddenly because they're there with somebody else or because they're they're you know they're available like they think that they're going to be able to scare you into chasing them they're trying to get you again this person doesn't want to be daddy this person wants you to be daddy they want you to chase them they want you to do the work and so they're trying to strategize and find a way to to worry you to scare you to make you afraid of of losing them to to turn they, they don't like that you have the control they want the control so they're going to try to play some kind of game here to to try to get you to chase them, to try to get you to to um, fight for them, to try to get you to, um, you know, to, to pursue them, to, to, to plan things long term with them. And it's bullshit because they're the one that needs to fight for you. They're the one that probably cheated or played games or told you they didn't want you or pushed you away. They're the one that messed with you. They're the one that got you to a point where you just broke down and felt like you couldn't trust them anymore and you had to become a queen or king of swords because you you just didn't feel safe. You didn't feel like you could really be vulnerable with them. You felt like it was just going to be the same heartbreak as before. So it's not up to you to chase them and you're not going to chase them. They're going to have to chase you. They're going to have to step up and act like a real man if they if they even want to have you in their life. Or a woman, either way, they're gonna have to step up and have integrity. They're not they're plotting something here and it's it's not gonna work. It's actually just gonna turn you off even more. It's gonna almost be confirmation for you where like you're like, wow, this person really isn't changing. Wow, this person's really playing the same games as, as before. 
like, wow, I really cannot trust this person. It's like con confirmation. It's not going to go how they think it's going to go. They need, they, they've dated a lot of insecure women. So they kind of need to get it through their head that you're not, you're not like their exes. What works for their exes is not going to work for, for you. It's not going to work on you. All right. I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.